Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Sunrise Show. 48 minutes after the hour, Craig Fronick in as your host. And I want to welcome onto the program um, Emmy Weiss. And she's a uh, student over at Crater High School. And she is very interested in political science. She is uh, studying very hard and, believe it or not, wants to get into the art, I mean, political science and campaigning and studying very hard. And and Emmy's got a lot of classes she's been taking. In fact, Emmy, you told me you have a big test tomorrow. What is it? AP what? AP government. AP government. All right. So you're a senior over at Crater? I'm actually a senior at Phoenix High School. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's I'm all right. so right. A shout out to the Phoenix Pirates. All right. All right. And sorry, Comet, you'll have to wait till another day, but Phoenix <laughs> Pirates. So um, out at, at Phoenix High School, so AP, is it government? Yeah. Okay. And tell me why you want to get into the political science and campaigning. And, you know, you see the national stage, you're studying national politics. What do you see? as a senior, as a young person in this country, as, you know, political, what what intrigues you about the political process? Well, it all started when I took um, my favorite teacher, Mr. Thiering's government class as a junior last year. And it just, the prestige of it and the complications of the policies, it just really fascinated me. And I really want to learn more about it. And I decided that I don't really want to be a political figure, I guess, or a politician but more behind the scenes. I want to like know how to market them out and learn about the policies and just really learn about the whole process. So study the issues yeah. and then and then help whatever uh, candidate would be working on the issues that are important to people, right? Yeah. So obviously you're pulling the onion, the layers of the onion back, and you're just getting into this kind of thing, and you studied national politics, you know, of course, that this is the best it can be. I mean, in the world, when you have the world stage of, you know, political process, you know, due process, the, you know, uh, the rule of law, the rights and the liberties that we have, free speech, all those type of things. There is only one uh, constitution known as the United States Constitution, and that's probably part of the intrigue? Yeah, definitely. All right. What what else intrigues you? I mean, you haven't picked any any political leaders that maybe you are, I mean, historically pretty impressed with? Is there a process? I mean, the campaigning and the debating, all of that? Um, I don't really have like a specific one. I just really enjoy looking at both parties and seeing how they each politician frames themselves and what policies and issues they focus on in terms of like which party they're in and what markets they are trying to get to and market to. I'm really interested in marketing as well. So Right, right. Well, and you, you're kind of a double major, right? Because you were mentioning marketing, but also on the political science piece. Yeah. So when do you finish? Have you got, you're looking at colleges? Yeah, I'm going to be attending Pacific University in Forest Grove right up Portland in the fall. And I'm hoping to major in marketing and minor in political science. Very good. Very good. Well, interesting. I mean, this is going to be the test. And that is, uh, how do you market and tell the truth, Mm -hmm. right? Because one of the things, especially when you look at uh, Donald Trump, the reality TV, you know, I think our country has been marketed overly marketed and we've whether it's networks doing it whether it's whether it's the drive of of viewers but this reality tv i mean donald trump and the apprentice he's kind of nailed that as far as branding his name and so okay that's fine and it's kind of based off of some sort of truth but the authenticity of reality tv now you come back to political campaigning and you probably are seeing spin, right? You're mm-hmm. seeing both parties bend yeah. the rules. So what are, you, what are your thoughts there when you watch that maybe ethics are a problem? How do you stand firm on virtue and values and morals and things like that when you see the candidates and the campaigning pushing so hard and bending all the rules? Well, it kind of annoys me because when you start to understand the political process and you have seen the background of these people in different situations, you 
you're like, why? What's the point of lying? Like, I want to see the truth. Like, you're going to be a political leader. You're going to be controlling our country, for example. And I want to know what you really stand for. And I want to know what you're really going to do. I don't want some lie that's just putting a cherry on top of the ice cream. Like, I want the truth. Right. Well, you know, I think a lot of young people, what I'm hearing is they are sick of the parties because they can't trust. Mm -hmm. And I think the one of the things that, that has gotten a lot of folks excited about Donald Trump, and it's still up in the air. We really don't know, but he, he is very out there. You know, everything is pretty much on his sleeve. Uh, and you wonder, okay, uh, he's not afraid to tell you what he thinks. And it, it has that level of authenticity, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Versus maybe a politician who has just got talking points, who's reading from a book, who, who someone is, you know, on the campaign has prepared comments, right? Yeah. So you've, you've got that. Uh, what are other concerns of young people with political, you know, the whole political process? Are they, are you seeing, um, Young people kind of get it. Do they do they understand the landscape, or do they just kind of want to put it over there and not deal with it? Well, there definitely are some people around here in the valley that I know that are really interested in politics and really want to understand it. But then a lot of people that I see, a lot of my friends, just try not to get involved in it, or they don't care because they think that their vote doesn't matter, that these policies, these issues, aren't going to affect them directly. And I think that if parties and independents really want to attract the younger generation and get them involved they need to show them how these issues are going to affect them in their daily life and show them that their vote really does matter especially at the state level and local level very well put emmy we're visiting with emmy uh, why she's a senior over at phoenix high school go pirates and the issue is she's uh, doubling uh, in political science and also marketing. And I had her in. She was just looking at the studio. I want to kind of talk to her a little bit about learning more. And she's uh, like a dry sponge on a wet day, just soaking it all in. So we're thrilled to have her in the studio. And, and she was going to watch and learn. And actually, I surprised her and said, hey, let's let's chat a little bit on the radio. So, Emmy, thanks for coming in this morning. And we're going to talk some more after we get off air about what you see in the political process and things like that. Yeah. You know, it's interesting, uh, Emmy, is that it it really, it is, here's the long term and the short term. And I brought up this American voter countdown. I coined that phrase because I wanted to give listeners kind of a countdown approach. And today is 182 days left until we, the people, choose a new American president. And only seven days until the May 17th primary, and what are we going to do about it? And you know that if we don't have a voice, then the folks that do vote, does that amaze you that, that you've got of, of 120,000 voters in Jackson County, sometimes only 32% of people will vote? Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, 32. And like in the primary on a non-presidential election, and then on a presidential election, it'll jump to like 68%. But even if it gets to 70 or 75%, that still means that 25% of the voters that are registered don't bring their ballots in. Wow. Pretty amazing, huh? And you're, and you're from the standpoint of short-term vision versus long-term vision, because if you, if you give up on the voting process in the short-term thinking, my vote doesn't matter, then what happens is long-term, what happens? I mean, they just lose out on possible rights or liberties, huh? Yeah. Very good. Very good. All right. Well, we're going to have a great...